5.5 is all about finding people who make a difference to their communities. And our latest story has brought us to an animal refuge called Mazonia, right in the heart of Ecuador, where the Andes meets the Amazon. So Marizonia starts, it was set up by four people. Um, they all met through volunteering at Animal Rescue Centre in Bolivia. And they loved it and they, they saw the need for that kind of place um, in other parts of the country and in other countries in South America. So they came to Ecuador and set up this place here. The main goal of Marizonia is to look after those animals that have been put into the wrong place, that have been taken as pets, um, bring them back to the jungle put them in with other animals of the same species, give them as natural a life as possible. For some animals, that's the best that we can do to give them the best quality of life. For other animals that are healthy, they're not um, so adapted to people, they have the possibility of being released and living a, a full life out in the jungle again. A normal day at Marizonia starts at 7.30 with animal feeding and cleaning, moves on to chores, which is basic housekeeping, then projects, which can be everything from manual labor to enriching animal enclosures to taking care of sick animals, and then in the afternoon is another feeding and cleaning. We have a wide variety of monkeys and birds um, and some local mammals here at Marizonia. But we have capuchin monkeys, woolly monkeys, uh, we have tamarind monkeys, we have one red howler monkey um, and we have a, a local mammal called a kinkajou um, and we have lots of different birds. Um, most of the animals that come to us have come through the environment, environmental ministry um, via the pet trade. Um, so most of the animals are, have been pets, they've been kept in homes, living with families um, and the Ministry of Environment actually will take them away from them. It's illegal to have those animals as pets in this country. People should volunteer here rather than anywhere else because our goal is to release animals into the jungle. If we cannot release animals back into the jungle successfully, we give them the best life we possibly can. And actually give them the best life we possibly can. I see Marizonia growing in the future towards more animal releases. I see Marizonia growing in the future, unfortunately, with more animals. As animals are taken out of the illegal animal trade, as we cannot put them back into the jungle, it has to get larger, which will include more volunteers, more animals, hopefully projects in the community to try to educate as well as more release programs. So what happens is that the indigenous communities in the jungle, they go out and they hunt for bushmeat. That's what they do to survive. Um, but you will have the byproducts of that. So you'll have more animals than they need to eat. Or you have, if a mother monkey is shot down, the baby monkey comes down with them. And these monkeys, they can then, or these birds, they then sell as pets for people that live in the towns and the cities. Um, so that's the main problem, that's the biggest source of animals that we have here. So this little monkey, because she's so young, she's such a baby, she should be with her mum, she should be with her mum for milk, for warmth, for comfort, for support. Unfortunately, because she doesn't have that, she gets a human. Um, and we try and give that to her, so if it's it's one-to-one -one care during the day um, and then hot water bottles and feeds at night. Um, once she gets a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger, then we'll start introducing her physically to the woolly monkeys that we have here. Um, we're forming quite a nice group at the moment. Um, we have So that should be when they've all gone together. We should have a nice group that we can then look at releasing around this area. We've seen wild woolly monkeys around here, we know they exist, we know the area supports them. So it's nice to see that one day she is going to be up there swinging through the trees with a group. So being a vet here at Marizonia, is, it's very different from being a vet in a clinic for pets in the UK or in Europe or the States. Um, the animals that we deal with, they're often wild, they're generally scared, um, some of them are 
not used to any human contact at all. So for those animals, we have to balance out the need to examine them, to check them over, to handle them, to treat them with the stress that that will produce with them. So it's a very different way of, of treating the animals. You have to think of different ways of medicating them, of treating wounds that causes the least amount of interference as possible. But the whole facilities that you would find in a clinic in Europe or the States or Australia, New Zealand, you, you just don't have them here. Um, so if we need to do an x-ray of an animal, we take a 40 minute journey taking the animal in the car. Um, the nearest ultrasound machine is about two and a half hours away. Um, so you just have to, it's a challenge, you have to think of different ways of treating the same problems or um, new ways of approaching a situation, trying to use the resources that we do have. What's special about Marizonia is that a group of foreigners have come here to Ecuador and created this place not as a tourist attraction, not as a way to create income, but solely for the welfare of the animals and in giving them a life and a freedom that would not have been possible otherwise.